Hello and welcome to the annual Christmas pageant for Second Presbyterian Church. My name is Elizabeth Link and I'm the Associate Pastor for Christian Education. This year we knew that our Christmas pageant had to look a little different. But instead of worrying too much about not being able to hold our pageant in this space, we imagined all the ways that this story could expand and how our location could expand. Special thanks to Jessica Timms and to her parents, Harry and Natalie Norris, for the use of their working farm. As you'll see in the moments that follow, our Christmas cast is a little smaller than usual. Traditionally, we try to include as many children as possible in our Christmas pageant, but this year we needed to keep the numbers small. We hope that all of you watching and listening at home will sing along to the music, will remember the stories with us, and be involved in a new and special way this year with your family. Hello, welcome to Second Presbyterian Church's Christmas Pageant 2020. My name is Kristen Smith. I'm the Children's and Youth Music Director here. And normally I'm coming up to the pulpit this one time each year to welcome everyone into the sanctuary after a delicious meal in the Fellowship Hall. We're excited about how we are bringing the pageant to you this year in the midst of this pandemic time. We will start in the sanctuary and then work our way out in order to keep everyone safe and healthy. Just like we start in our heart and work our way out into the world to share the good news of Jesus. A lyric that stood out to me this year from the hymn, A Little Town of Bethlehem, is, the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. I would like to thank Pastor Elizabeth Link, all of our pastors and staff, the session, the families, the youth, and the children who have brought this pageant to life and this story to life. We hope that you have a blessed and Merry Christmas.
In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. And everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds, living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem and Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. After they heard the king, they went on their own way. And the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary and they bowed down and worshiped him. They opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense and of myrrh. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth.